Basel ranks among the world's top 10 cities for quality of living. It's the third largest city after Zurich and Geneva. Here we are in the St. Jakobs Halle, a 9,000 seating capacity venue. And uh, there's the state of play right now. Matches reeling on and off throughout the day pretty quickly. We're going to be bringing you after that women's singles win for Bei Wen Zhang, the ninth seed. It's a men's singles now, featuring Anders Antonsen, the confident Dane, 22 years old. What a year he's had. He's a fifth seed here, and he's taking on the Malaysian, Darren Liu. This is our seventh, our eighth match of the day, can you believe it? Rattling through them pretty quickly as we take a look at the draw. see that little section there loaded with quality as it is wherever you look at the world champs this from the top of the bottom half of the men's singles draw sheet uh, Kinta Suniyama the 13th seed is just up above projected to come through on paper against a Mexican ranked 112 in the world Got to imagine it'll probably be the Japanese on that basis. A ranking golf. Angus and Carlon down below as the ninth seed, and just below that, well, he's due to perhaps take on Chen Long. All projected, of course. Anything can unfold. So, confirmation of the matchup. Darren Liu, who's having a hard time of it of late, hasn't been at the best of form coming in here, but he'll be wanting to make a change. But he's got to get past the confident ninth world number nine. Liu currently is ranked 36 in the world. And the man in black, there he is, Darren Liu. He uh, beat Kushit uh, Fetpradab yesterday in straight games. Three quarters of an hour it took him. That was out on court three. And as Antonsen, well, it's his second match. He had a win over Kevin Corden. Guatemala. First meeting between these two, unusually. This year, in the traditional red and white Danish attire. Darren Liu, age 32, from uh, Kuala Lumpur. That's been right inside that top 10 benchmark. He's played 14 matches this year, only won six, lost eight. But, uh, well, He's ranked at 36 in the world as a consequence. He's won one match from the last six tournaments, and that was the Australian Open, a season to forget. But is this the start of the turnaround? He's a talented, gifted athlete. Quarterfinals of the Malaysian Masters. Really is his uh, best. There's confirmation of the win of the Thai player, who's, to be fair, also been struggling this season by his own admission. That was a match won in straight games for Darren Liu. Will that... Uh, fill him with confidence I don't know we'll have to see but he will need it today because this man is something very special 22 years old tall lean from Arhaus in Denmark just one off his career high of eighth in the world in July he's played 32 matches won 25 of them he's only lost seven matches this year the super confident Dane his sporting ambition he declared when he was young to become the number one in the world and he says that with sincerity as well. He really is a big believer. His father worked in the badminton club, and that's how he kind of got into the game. But he says he'll be disappointed if he returns home without a medal. It was the uh, win in his opening match. Kevin Corden didn't uh, make it to the court in the end. He says uh, he won't be satisfied with anything less than a medal, Antonsen. Danish badminton in a good place right now. They've got five men inside the world's top 30. Axelsen at six. Antonsen at nine. Rasmus Genke at 22. Jano Jorgensen at 20. And Vitingas at 27.
one of the leading contenders in the draw, just about to get his second round bid underway against this tough Malaysian, Darren Yu. He's leading the European challenge, is Antonsen. He defeated Momota in January to go on to win the Indonesian Masters. It was a tactical masterclass. Also made the final of the Barcelona Spain Masters and won the European Games, the Dane, before reaching the final of uh, the Indonesian Open, Open in Jakarta. He's also had a few early exits this year. All England, the Malaysian Open, Singapore Open. But when he's got his eye on the prize and he's really focused, he's a real handful. He was the only player to take a set well, to trouble the eventual champion, Momota, last year. Reckons he doesn't feel the pressure. He says it's going to be fun. I feel in good shape, so it's going to be exciting, says Antonsen, pre-tournament. Here we go then, men's single second round action. Darren Liu to get us underway. Third is over. One love. start from the Dane. Two, low. I called his tournament at the Scottish Open when he won the title in 2016. And I'll tell you more in a second. Three, On winning, he snatched the microphone out of Gail M's hands as a presenter and interviewer. And one of the first things he said is, I'm going to be the next one. <laughs> that really is confident. He's got the swagger of a kind of one, Boris Becker equivalent two. in tennis. He is really full of himself. But I like that. I think, you know, if you're a pro athlete, you've got to have that sort of swagger, that declaration of I'm here and I'm purposeful. What of Darren Liu, the 32-year-old, vast experience. He's uh, knocked on the door of the top ten before and got right up there. Can he prove problematic for the Dane? First meeting, strange, both having been around a while. How's that for defence? <laughs> Lightning quick from Anna's Antonsen, as the Danes say. They don't pronounce the D. But there's a D in defence, and that was immaculate. Stunning hands. It's over, two, three. Great straight smash from Darren Liu. 
really getting hold of that one to draw a level. But you feel this man's presence around the venue. And that, psychologically, after a while, weighs heavy on an opponent's mind. Well done, Mew, quick to close that down. Great follow-up from him. Four, three. Nicely done. Drop like a stone, that one. Deadlock opening game. Both players having to work extremely hard for anything on the scoreboard right now. It's competitive from the offing, this one, living up to its billing. Good leave. The physicality of the Dane just imposing there. Kenneth Carlson. Longest rally of the match, that one, 28 shots. Thank you, partner. Made a mistake. It's Kenneth Jonasson, the head coach. Four. Don't know the dance. Well done, Liu, quick to follow up onto that. Managing to get the shuttle down pretty quickly. He is sprightly, the Malaysian. This is a good showing from him so far. Can he stay with Antonsen as he spikes that away? Junior was uh, very good, European Junior champion. And the boys singles in 2015 in Lubin in Poland to get the gold medal there. Still not happy, he wants the court swept. Umpire, not compliant, saying, get on with it. Oh. 
Fergus over. Eight, five. It's been a season that started really back in the Denmark Open last year in week 42 of 2018, where the Dane made the semis of that week. Hammered his way like that to 7,700 points in doing so. Nine, and three weeks later, five. he found himself in the quarterfinals of the Fuzhou China Open with another bundle of points. And won the Indonesian Masters. Week four of 2019. Beating Momota in that showpiece. Nine, really, that was a massive coming of age for this youngster. Then we had the runners-up showing in Barcelona, Spain Masters. And the Feb. Brilliant from Liu. Stern resistance from the Malaysian there. Doesn't want Antonsen to get to the turn first. You can understand that. And then, of course, for, for the man in red, it was that uh, Indonesian Open final as well, recently. As well as a quarterfinal showing recently in the Tahatsu Yonex Japan Open as well. And, well, you know, put that year together, and it's been pretty heady for Antonsen, the 22-year-old. Now, of course, I'm sure he'll agree, it's all about performance Six, consistency at the biggest of events. He's been up to eighth in the world. He's currently at, is it number nine? <laughs> Good leave. So he does indeed get to the turn, does Anders Antonsen, with a nice leave, a trusting leave, as the shuttle spills over the back line, and he's done it 11 points to six. Well, they say winning becomes a habit, and Liu hasn't done that much of it of late. It's uh, three first round showings coming into this. The last one was at the Thai Open, prior to that, the Japan Open, the Indonesian Open as well. The last one was at the Australian Open, where he reached the second round, so he's lacking match wins. And then comes the doubt. And by contrast, you've got Anderson, who's Antonsen is just becoming a little bit of a blur of red. He's free, he's confident, he's into this performance already. And it becomes like almost a synergy, doesn't it, when an athlete's playing well, sort of two plus two equals eight, do you know what I mean? And that's where he's at. He's missing that, I hope I've not jinxed him. Seven, three. But we saw in the last match the mental skills just so important. Swan Yu, Wendy Chen, having had that 14-9 lead in the opening game and then just kind of imploded a little. I don't think this man will do that. Oh, that's powerful. Darren Liu all over that, biting back just in the nick of time. 
staying in touch here, making his presence Eight. felt. That was dictatorial. Well, well played. For Darren Lee, well, he also had a round of 16 showing at the Swiss Open, as well as the All England Open as well. And that was on the back of uh, having made the semi-finals of the Malaysia Masters just prior to that, at the start of 2019. So he's got the skills, there's no doubting it. Kenneth Yunusen will be fully aware of that. But at the moment, we've got this opening game nicely under control, Danes. Four-point cushion for Anders Antonsen. Eight, Thank you so Betting eight. Over. Nine. Perhaps just a little greedy with the reverse slice there, the Dane. The definition of a thick ear right there, isn't it? Wow. Let's see it again. Mercifully oh, turned away, which was nine. good. No one wants one in the eye. So a handful of points separate these two in favour of the Dane. Everything about him says winner, doesn't it? From the swagger, the body language. That's on and off court at all times. Oh, that's nice from Darren Liu. He needs more of them. Decisive, straight smashes. 10, 15. Brilliant. Another great follow-up. When he ups the tempo like that, he looks really good. 11, 15. Some tough questions right now from the Malaysian. One of the uh, new generation of men's single shuttlers is Antonsen. <laughs> Confident deception at the net there. 16, 
equal. So the runner point stops at three for Darren Liu. Oh, hammered body blow. That was an absolute heat seeker, wasn't it? Antonsen just getting up there, hitting it so steep and just loads on the pace. Well, they've been out on show court two for 18 minutes now. Still with the five point buffer is Antonsen. Really enjoying that straight smash. Scoring a lot of points from it. Service so over, 13, 17. Ten years between these two, ten years of experience favouring the Malaysian, but Antonsen won't be thinking about any of that. He'll just be thinking about what he does well, his set plays, focusing on the moment. Super cross smash that time, mixing up the attack lines nicely then, the Malaysian. Just that momentarily detaining the seeded athlete. Yeah, so it's heady times for Danish badminton. There's quite a pack of them. Always good uh, practice opponents back home. Fourteen, eighteen. Twenty minutes have elapsed. Who's going to come through this tight opening game? Well, that one came right out the middle of the Antonsen racket. So after 22 minutes then, fifth seed from Denmark, there's five game point opportunities. Over. 
play. Oh, nicely done. It's becoming a familiar look, isn't it? Those straight smashes just spearing down the line. 17. With uh, unwavering 20. accuracy, always finding their mark. It's been a big uh, part of the arsenal of the 32-year-old Malaysian. Oh, that's gorgeous. Game. Wonderful play. What a way to finish a no-nonsense game from Anders Antonsen. First game from and the fifth seed Anders in the men's singles Antonsen. draw, looking good here. 21, Takes the 17. opener. 21 points to 17. Just 24 minutes played. Seconds for two twenty seconds. Players on top. Second game. Well, it's been a decent start from the day. Nothing sort of outstanding, but a nice, solid opening game from him. He'll be uh, happy if he can get this done in straight games, no doubt. But it's often never that straightforward against a man of experience in black at the top of your picture, Darren Liu from Kuala Lumpur. Start of game two. Cross smash there from Liu. He's been problematic up there, hasn't he? Offering a lot of resistance. Love. Just wide, good start from Liu here. 
this two. tournament is a huge Love. organizational feat and it's uh, bringing the hotel sector in and around Basel an extra 15,000 overnight stays as a consequence of this tournament. It will be broadcast live on TV in around 100 countries. And a global audience of about a billion viewers. A slow start from Antonsen here. He's been Three, asked some tricky questions. Low. They anticipate about 30,000 spectators coming into this 9,000 seater venue here at St. Jacob's Halle. There's around 200 media representatives, such as myself, attending. It's so well organized. Transportation's great. It's just a lovely place to host an event like this, Swiss efficiency and all that. But it's become a logistical giant and represents a huge sort of challenge for the entire organization. There's more than 500 volunteers. They're often the beaten heart of a setup like this. Now then, it's been a complete turnaround right here. A sea change, if you will. Darren Liu looking really good, digging deep into all of his experience vault. He's 10 years older at 32 than the man in red. Antonsen with far more to ponder. Paul Love. Oh, yes, great defence from the Dane there. Liu threw it all over the net, but everything came back. 27-shot rally, look at this. And just in, a, in an attempt to just get the shuttle down, just spilt wide. Very proactive badminton from the Malaysian there. Now can Antonsen attempt to get in first, get on the front foot, bully the point a little. And again, the Dane decides to play watertight badminton. A wry oh. smile of frustration etched all over the face of Darren Liu. He's up the tempo in the offing here in game two, but Antonsen now starting to get wise to it. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Nicely done. Generally, more Five, often than not, he's been sort two. of gobbling up anything overhead. Predominantly with straight smashes. There seems to be a little bit more bite in his attack right now, Liu. Resisting well, the Malaysian. Oh, it's brilliant badminton. And the break off of the net 
in the end, a little unlucky from Darren Liu, who was driving that point all the way. Antonsen stretching and lunging all over the court. And in the end, the man in red, after all of his industry and endeavor, has his weight, and he's fist pumping again. Three in a row for Antonsen. Thank you. Oh, that long, grueling rally. Well, I think what's so great about this Basel venue is that because it's relatively driftless by all accounts, it allows athletes to play full court badminton, and that really is the ultimate in expression. Four courted bonanza, a festival of badminton unfolding today. Well, 56 matches over four courts, and this 25th edition of the total. BWF World Championships. Five, all. Now this must be frustrating for this man, having torn away from Antonsen at the top of the game. He's now being pegged right back. Five. 35 minutes have elapsed. And suddenly, the Dane somehow finds those solutions. A handful of red and white points. Back to back for Antonsen. He's had to work very, very hard, but he's been so patient in defense. Eight, five. For Darren Liu. It's a head-scratching moment. He's thrown so much over the net, but somehow not been rewarded for it. Got lucky break there off the top of the tape. Holds his hand over. in apology. Six, eight. Now, stop the run of Danish points with that little trickle over. Can he build again here? Having started the game so well with a heady four love lead. And he's 5 2 up. And suddenly, Antonsen said, right, enough. He really locked down his defences. Good leave. Very caught aware. And Antonsen, for me, is the sort of lad. I, I don't know Nine. this, but I, judging from the way that he is, his swagger and his body language and his positivity, I reckon he's the sort of guy that in a co coach's post-mortem after the match, the analysis, he would sort of go, the coach might say, well, do you know what? You've got this wrong, this wrong, and this wrong. And he would say, yeah, but what about this? I did that well and that well and that well, didn't I, coach? Do you know what I mean? That's just the way his mind works.
constantly heading for the sun Ten, in his mind's eye. Six. Darren Liu, well, as I said, coming into this, not a lot of wins. Perhaps that's starting to torment his mind a little. That's better. Service over. Seven. Ten. Six only. Seven ten. The Danes' defences right now have been immaculate. Not there. That cross smash was from the top draw from Darren Liu. Really gave it the treatment, unleashing the fury here. It's a good dig earlier in the point. But he knows he's got to bring his best and almost red line against the defensive prowess of Antonsen, who's happy to tease out error. For Liu, he has to sort of increase that patience and shot quality simultaneously if he wants to get through this second game. It's a must-win game for him if he's to stay longer in Basel. So hard to spread the court and find the hole on it. Well, it was gestured out by the Lions judge. Immediately, though, there's one of those sort of moments from the Malaysian, and he wants to go upstairs. You can understand that. It was very close. Let's have a look. What does Hawkeye have to conclude? Oh, it was a great call from the Lions judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Shake of the head eight. from Darren Liu, almost Service. as if to suggest, well, I saw that on the line. So, to the turn then. 11-8 to the good. The Danes. Seconds for two twenty seconds. Service so over nine eleven.
Demonstrating really good patience there, the Malaysian. Um, 11. It's been a very competitive match throughout, really. Leaving it all out there, it's called. He's been gallant throughout, as Darren Liu. But Antonsen, with real precision, spreading the Malaysian's court beautifully there. Thank you. Thank you. Thirteen, ten. Well, the net intervening there to the frustration of the Malaysian. But the defensive aspect of the Danish Arsenal, very, very intact. He's been asked a lot of questions today, but the world number nine has been looking solid as he wins another consecutive run of three points. Service over. 11 14. Never say die attitude from Matt Thompson. Popped up far too high, didn't it? Easy kill there. Over 15-11. And again, it's just a, another illustration of the brilliance of the top 10 athlete in red who has Play. generated already in this game a heady run of six consecutive points to get from two on the scoreboard to eight in a row. Good leave. Thought about hitting it. Service over, 12, 15. Yeah, again he lost out the error does Antonsen with that immaculate defense asking another question and another of the man in black who eventually just pushes too tight to the line 16 12 he's been so disciplined today Antonsen How's that? It's all going the way of the 22-year-old in red. 
17, 12. Service over, 13, 17. Good body attack from Liu, who's still not done with this. He's shown great tenacity throughout in this match. Hello. Service over, 18, 13. Johnson. Watch it again. <laughs> Christmas come early right here. <laughs> Fantastic defense. Darren Liu in response just drops his racket to the floor in frustration. What do I have to do to win points off of this guy? He was the only player to take a game from Momoto last year when Momoto went on to secure the title. He's a confident young lad. And the 32-year-old Malaysian right up against it now as Antonsen, the seed in this one, sets sail for home. It's not come easy for Antonsen. It's been a real scrappy, industrious affair. But he's got a healthy cushion here. That's gone as well. 20 match brings points. up seven match points 18. for the fifth seed. Yeah. It's the top tenner. And as Antonsen. In. who we think is home and dry, but it's down to Hawkeye to confirm it. We're going upstairs on the match point, so hold your horses, folks. Did he find the line? Yes, he did. Plum on the line. It's the fifth seed safely through this one. And having had a bye coupled with a walkover, he wins his first live match. And engineers safe passage through to round three. Match won by Anders and Thompson. It'll probably be Kenta Sunyama next, the 13th seed, should he win. There's the confirmation of the scoreline. Straight games win for Anders and Thompson. 21 17, 21 13. So it was a competitive affair, there's no doubting that. And spare a thought for Darren Liu, who really did uh, come out all guns blazing. He had a heady four love lead in game two, but unable to cross the line on this difficult day against a very solid Danish opponent. So it's Antonsen through to round three.